the tenets of mixed martial arts have helped many develop discipline and purpose. Included in that many is UFC middleweight Uriah Hall, who now seeks ways to help others forge their own path to success in Southern California. Historically, we have anywhere from 100 to 150 homicides a year. Assault with deadly weapons, rapes, narcotic activity of all kinds, of course, prostitution, you name it. It's very hard being a kid here. These kids have to dodge all of this criminal activity just trying to get to school. So we'll get out real quick. The people who occupy this park point to that because that is their backing right there, the brims. You don't come in here unless you associate with them or you have no gang association whatsoever. Well, the reason why we're here is because we had a young kid, Patrick, not a gang member. Rival gang members drive up, get out, shoot him and execute him right here on this bench. He was part of a program. He was in the program since he was eight years old. He was the furthest thing from being a gang member. <laughs> just the sweetest kid in the world, man, and, and it was just a tragedy, man. It hits home when you realize how many innocent kids get killed out here on a daily basis. Academy! I had the honor of visiting some places today, and I gotta tell you, I was, I was a little shooken up. What's that, Andy? What was that call that just came out? So the area where we're going right now, there's what we call a code three radio call happening there right now. So that's where we're going right now? Yeah, we're going to Nickerson. That's where we're going. It's one of the busiest areas in the city of Los Angeles. Wow. As far as crime, yeah, that's where we're going right now. But that's also where these kids, that's where they're from, man. I'm sure every one of us could have a story of their life journey. I have a story too. I was bullied. When the bullying started, it made it much easier for everyone to just keep going at it. And it hurt me bad to a point where I wanted to kill myself. It's like I'm fighting with myself. This is the largest housing development in the United States of America right now. A lot of the kids, this is where they live. And we, we're trying to create a safe zone, man. A safe, what we call a safe passage to get these kids to and from school. So there's an elementary school right there, just outside of the development. Just right outside of Nickerson Garden. Found out another one of my friends got shot in front of one, another one of my friend's house. He was walking out, they came through. Boom, 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 he's dead. There's just gangs everywhere. Raids, drugs, positive two, walking down the street. Like, it's crazy. Like, I seen it all. Like, I seen a guy got shot hanging out his window one time. Drive by, gang affiliation, people punking people. Join my gang, or if you don't join, we're gonna hurt your family, we're gonna get in your house. I've had a lot of friends die. I've seen a lot of people get shot by my friends. Like, if you go through the small street, you're like, you're not going to school that day. You're not, right. you're like, you're stuck there for the whole day. You might be dead, they might hurt you. I had a difficult childhood, get picked on in school for whatever reasons. But with these guys, you know, bullying was there, but it was more of just them fighting for their lives. You know, can't walk down certain areas because of gang-related issues or you'll be killed. So it's, it's like a big inspiration to see them walk through that. And I'm comparing myself to them, but it's almost like I can't because they've gone through so much than me. I was personally very pleased that Uriah came to the academy today. I could see the emotion and the tears in some of the kids' faces, in particular with the words that he spoke about, how he overcame adversity. I overheard one of the kids confess that, you know, you hear gunshot and it's like, oh, it's just a gunshot. So they've got to that point where they accepted that reality. I was more inspired by them, to tell the truth. You know, I, I get out there, I perform, I, I do my job, but the way they fought to get to where they are, I think they're better fighters than me.